what's up little pickles do you need a walkies I think you might need a walkies do you want a walkies do you want a walkies welcome to the vlog I thought this was gonna be a bit of a miserable weekend but I mean uh, look at the weather today it's fantastic so this is a bit more of a fun vlog pickles as you can see is starting to really require a bit of outdoors activity so I'm on my way out to get her a harness and we're going to take her for a walk today and see how she copes as well as some music stuff as well which I'll try and throw in later on today so onwards we go so the plan is I'm going to go over to pets at home I'm going to find her a harness and bring it back Maybe grab a few snacks for a sunny Friday afternoon and uh, take her for a walk somewhere nearby. And we'll see how she copes with it. This should be an interesting day. And every way I feel I'm lost inside your eyes I can't see the skies Without you holding me Stay with me Let's say Here I am, back over in uh, Ludlow again. As you can see down there, you can see the uh, castle. Sunny, glorious day. I really wasn't expecting it to be quite as nice as this. And there's still a bit of cloud in the air. Make out. Still a bit of cloud up there, but uh, it's, it's uh, still a fantastic day. And it's a great day to go and get Pickles harness so we can take her out for a walkies. Let's see how this goes. Still think if you're going to do a mask, do it properly. Might just well scare a few people whilst you're at it. <laughs> Let's go into Pets at Home and uh, see what we can find for the pickles. We need a good, secure harness, something that's going to hold her, but something that she won't feel too stressed in. So, here we go. We've got quite a selection of different ones here. God knows which one I'm going to pick. I mean, we could go for sort of something nice and simple the thing is with these big ones is that i've heard that some of them can slip off so i'm trying to find something that's going to actually do the trick i think the best thing to do will be to check online and see what other people have been saying and which ones they think are the best so i'm going to do that which means i've got to end the video but then i'll come back and we'll have a look and I might get rid of something else as well, just because I think, I think she needs it. Right, I've decided. Black harness, for she's a kinky cat. And I've got a nice long five metre walking thingy for her, so we'll get that. So there's such an assortment of things here. See, I'd quite like to get her one of these spinny toy things. But the problem with these is, is that she likes you to interact with her. Uh, and if she knows I'm not playing with her, she just won't have it. She'll just be like, no, I ain't falling for your, for your tricks here. You're not showing me any real human attention. Now, this looks quite entertaining. I did have the bird, but the problem with the bird is that it gets all tied up along this top bit here. So it's a bit of a... This one might be a bit more substantial and a little bit more fun. I don't know really what else to get her. She's not really a catnip type of girl, you know? She's not into drugs. Um, so, yeah. There are some cheaper alternatives, but I know she absolutely adores feathers. So let's go with a feather toy. See how she likes that one. Of course, the trip here wouldn't be complete without... Pickle streets. No, okay, thank you. Right, good assortment of treats. Men in white. Which will be fun. Can't wait to try these out for with her. All sorted. Nothing like a bit of Harry Bay. 
I didn't think the point of uh, going around the shop, doing my shopping again, was going to be that exciting, so I held off. Um, but I thought, just given the lovely day it is, that I'd uh, probably just whip round quickly, do some shots of the river, and then um, be on my way, because we've got a lot to do with pickles. So here goes. Inside your eyes, I can't see the skies without you holding me. Stay with me, let's sail away, sail into the setting sun. Stay with me. Hello. You're in quite, quite a quiet mood, but she's been enjoying playing with her feather toy. Let's see how she likes this. This is really quite cool, actually, because as you move it through the wind. It sort of spins. It doesn't have to get her going. <laughs> and she's won. Oh, come on then, let's see if we can pull this off, Pickles. Come on. Come on. I think she's she's doing it. Come on. Come on, good girl. No. I know. It's gonna be a little harder than I thought. I have to carry for a bit, I think. Let's see where we're gonna go. Let's go to the park. Come on, good girl, that's it. Yes! Come on! Come on! Pickles, come on! Come on, Pickles! Pickles! Come on, come and have a treat! Okay. Well, as in cat terms, it's usually dictated to by what they want to do. A dog has approached. Well, the idea of dog being here has pushed her into persuasion that perhaps maybe we're doing the right thing by walking. That's a good girl. She's starting to get it. She's a clever cat and she understands. Well, well, well. You managed to escape. Oh dear. Maybe we need to practice a little bit more at home. And maybe I need to just give you a little bit more time to get used to it all. I may never get used to it, to be honest, but I thought it was worth a go. Well, we gave it a go, and that's the main thing, isn't it, Pickles? Hmm? Didn't we give it a go? Hmm. Not impressed. Oh, well. We'll try again soon. So, welcome to um, the vlog today, Sunday. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching my antics with trying to get Pickles to go for a walk with her harness. She didn't do too bad, bless her. I thought um, I'd have a look today at uh, the song that you can hear, hear in, the, um, in the video. The song's called uh, Sail Away. It's not finished yet, the, the vocals in the first are uh, still nowhere near. Uh, what I want them to be. But the chorus is getting there, and I think needs a bit of a little bit more embellishment. Um, but it gives you some idea as to um, how things are uh, progressing along with my writing style as well. Um, in other news, still cracking on with it. Still have plenty on. I was, I was absolutely zonked a few days ago, though. I don't know what it was. I was just so tired. I ended up just having to sleep. Um, but the good thing is, is that it's really sorted me out and I'm feeling so much more awake and so much better for it and a lot more energised. So uh, sometimes you just have to crash and burn for a few days and then get back up again. So let's go and have a look at this song in the studio and I'll show you how it works. I'm literally, um, I'm literally recording this and editing it at the same time. 
just to pull it together a little bit quicker for the vlog. Um, I found that actually it can be a bit more helpful if I can do that. What I just need to do is tripod up so I can zoom and show you the screen as I do this. So, still doing a brilliant job with screen capturing, um, as you can see. I'm just going to, hang on, this might wobble a bit. Let's just zoom it in a bit so we can get it as much onto the screen as possible. Right, as you can see, um, most of this is, is the vocals actually, that you can see down here in the, the kind of brown color. So I tend to keep all my vocals at the end. So all these are my drums, these little bits here. I started off with this. This is called Ample Guitar. This is a brilliant, brilliant instrument. I used it to make a strumming pattern. To those of you who think, oh my God, I thought he was playing the guitar. Yes, I could have, but I, I sometimes I just pff, use something as inspiration and that's what did it for me. So I then, uh, let me just bring up my sound ID. Right, okay. One of the keys I would say in creating a good song is you need to have the following things. Okay, these will really help you sell your song to whoever listens to it. So, what, one of the things is you want to bring in your idea early. Give people a hint, and then bring your vocals in quickly. So, what did I use to do that, basically? I used Nexus, if you've ever used Nexus before. Uh, this is, let me try and get it up higher. Nexus is amazing, I love Nexus. It features my signature sound on there, um, my Shimmer. I love Shimmer. I love all the Valhalla stuff, can't recommend it enough. Um, then I've got basically just a piano on there um, with, again, Shimmer, and the two of them give you that. Uh... So nothing, nothing too amazing there, but it brings in the idea. Um, let's have a look and see what my bass consists of. Which is this. I've been, I, I love this synth. If you haven't seen this, you haven't lived in the audio world. This is one of the most classic, um, if you'd like, instruments out there. Silent. If we go. Silent is just, it's got great sounding analog uh, synths in it. It's very easy to use. I know to many who haven't seen this sort of thing before, it probably looks quite complicated, but it's actually one of the most basic ones out there. Um, you know, you've got two, two screens, t uh, so part A and part B, you know, each consisting of two oscillators. Uh, and, and the thing is, just once you learn your way around it, it becomes very intuitive. It's a great one to learn. It's a great one to just have in your arsenal, I think, of synths. Um, and then I cheated and just used silent on the top as well. I suppose what I could show you that's quite interesting in, in here is that there's there's two re versions of this synth. I've got this. Now, if I solo these other ones, as it comes in, I've changed them so that they, they have a slightly of an attack rather than that sort of longer sort of tone behind them and that can be used I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep that yet but the idea is is that when you come out of the first chorus you don't want the energy to drop so hey, the so it keeps the energy going if you see what I mean um, that's crucial uh, other tricks that I've used in there, I mean, there's quite a number of vocals. Um, I've got harmonies and all sorts in there. 
I'm not going to go through those because <laughs> I'm always embarrassed about my own singing, but there we go. Um, the kick and the bass. So basically, um, shout out to John Sign. I love John Sign. If you haven't watched any of his videos, I really suggest you do. He's got like five years of his vlogging life on um, the internet. Anybody who wants to learn how to make electronic music or use electronic music in any shape or form in their productions really needs to watch this guy because you're basically watching this guy's last five years. Um, there's some nice stuff in there. Uh, I, I, you know, you can't not get stuck into it. He's kind of like the East Enders of... Um, He's like the East Enders of uh, electronic music production. <laughs> it's the only way I could describe it, really. You know, you get to see parts of his life and everything, and he's he shows you so much. It's he, he if you've ever seen the Truman Show, it, he he must be the equivalent of that, to be honest. He inspired me to do a lot of what I'm doing now, but uh, and to g give me the focus I wanted. But his kick drums are second to none. You know. And I love messing around with them. A couple of other tricks. The old noise floor trick is, is brilliant. Just reverse a sweep. And it's just perfect way to... Always finish with a cymbal crashing into the chorus. So you've got this reverse cymbal sweep. And then a cymbal to crash it in. There you go. Another trick I used, which was a bit unique. Um, this one here. Check this out. Um, so yeah, I I reversed a hi hat. Um, it wasn't quite loud enough in my first mix, so I'll turn it up a bit, but. It's just a nice little thing, you know, that just uh, this kind of whoosh, 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 to lead you back in. Anyway, I hope that gives you a nice little overview of uh, the song that I'm working on. You'll have the chance to properly hear how it's going over the next uh, few videos, and as I'll uh, I'll add it into the uh, the vlogs and things like that. If um, if you're enjoying what I'm doing on here, um, I'm gonna start properly screen capturing it. I hope you're enjoying the vlogs. Um, let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you want to see. But if nothing else, please show your um, please show your I can never say it. Please show your support by liking and subscribing. And I'll catch you next week. Thanks very much. Catch you later.